Welcome back, Venture Onward. Today I plan to talk about how a Visigoth prince opposing the overwhelming Roman rule, Eric of Dacia, was once pushed into captivity when the alien race, the Vine, kidnapped him and his compatriots. Eric afterward piloted an insurrection on board the Vine spacecraft, with the outcome plotting to let him attach with one of the cosmos' most compelling artifacts, the conscious exosuit Shanhara, compelling him exo man war Furthermore, the armor becomes a target of the Romans, who have returned to take it for their nefarious purposes. Printed by Valiant Entertainment, written by Becky Clunan and Michael W. Conrad with drawings from Liam Sharp and letters from Troy Petery, Exo Manowar Unconquered No. 2 establishes the novice Roman as creeping nearer to their objective as Eric endures prominently from their fury. Exo Manowar Unconquered No. 2 commences on Scythia's chilly, ruthless moon, where the Romans resume attacking the Eric. Though exhausted, Eric reaches an imposing demonstration of force until an additional rocket from the novice Romanus spaceship utterly strikes Shanhara's armor. Immediately on the vessel is a captive of Emperor Ursus Knox, welcome Eric with a celebrated spread of cuisine. However, they are also eager to get the armor off him quickly. Observing how enslaved people are on the vessel, Eric vows to free the captives when he arrives through the Oracle Nimini, whose predictions steered the Romans straight to Eric doorstep. Not like the bone-crunching conflict of the last issue, Exo Manowar Unconquered No. 2 breaks down its bounds to let more explanation to give the comic a stable base. The time begins with Eric challenging the Romans with a warrior's rage, experimenting with his sword against Roman flesh. While Shanhara is the vocal sound of logic, steering its wearer via thick and thin. They part a stark relationship, evident from their back and forth. But they furthermore have a fundamental allegiance that grows the tale's core, as splitting them is the significant contest for the novice Romanus. Writers Clunan and Conrad have created a realm of high fantasy merged with science fiction, parting enough space for communal interpretation. With the participants spaced out around the floorboard, the relaxed pace lets each of them show their character. Liam Sharp encompasses the gloom fundamental in the story, extending a grittiness over the sheets. From synaptic linking splitting in Hellfire to rageful eyes concentrated on murdering the whole lot, the artwork expands a heroic epic just before the person who reads eyes. There is an asset in the illumination that illustrates even the shadowy panels of the comic, like a renaissance picture. Sharp's fantasy effects are apparent in the vessel's architectural drawing that induces the drawing of the necromunger transports from Riddick, with its cylinders and metalworking reminiscent of a creature's contents. The oil image-like paints attach layers to the picture, affecting the appearance view as virtually hyper-realistic. Letterer Troy Petery contributes the vocalization balloon's coarse curves to mimic the rough voices of the heavyweight forms in the tone. He thoroughly splits Shanhara's tone with shadows and tawny boxes, setting the AI apart from the aggression. The profound book and eerie art in Exo Manowar Unconquered No. 2 assist in dipping the text into a mystic environment. Eric is a combatant, yet he stalks his intelligence and thinks outside the box to endure when bounded by foes. It's constantly more challenging for him now that Shanhara isn't at his flank. Nevertheless, when push comes to shove, he cannot back away. Exo Manowar Unconquered No. 2 finishes with his defeater Centurion Thyra Antius choosing a battle with him, and Eric reacts with an identical intensity. As things become warmer after the short calmness, fanatics of the comic can await more fantastic conflict as the series marches onward. Well, that's about it. Thank you for listening. Until next time, venture onward.